Hey y'all. Hey, hey, hey. So, okay y'all. So this video um, is going to be all about um, emergency power sources, okay? So I know ain't nobody really got no money to be, you know, buying these things. A lot of y'all have said that y'all don't have any means to like charge your phones or you know um small appliances and things like that that you may have so i'm gonna talk about this last because it's not even what the what, what i'm gonna show y'all in this video okay but we're gonna talk about that when it comes to prices all right so i was gifted another solar power generator but this time from a run day um because everybody in the house know i like this type of stuff all right so um it's a Pulsar brand. I hope I said that right. Um, it's cheap. It's affordable. Okay. And that's why I'm showing this video. I am not sponsored through them or anything like that. It was literally a gift. So um, I'm going to share with y'all in case somebody is wondering. I'm going to show y'all what I like and maybe what I don't like. The only thing I have done is open the shipping box. I haven't opened the box that it actually come in because I wanted to open that with y'all. Okay. So, let me move my computer and stuff out the way. And then, we're going to get into this in my glasses because I probably would need it. Phones to the side. Ooh, ooh, didn't know it was that phone on the edge. All right. So, like I said, this is the Poser. 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 Pulsar. I hope I'm saying that right. So this is a 200 watt portable power station. Okay. Now you can type this in. That I know they have it at Lowe's. I'm not sure about Home Depot, but I do know they had it at Lowe's. Um, when I looked it up, um, it was like a little over 200 dollars, and I think that's about the price he paid. Um, for it, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know where he ordered it from. I'm guessing he ordered it from the company, okay? Um, not sure. But you can type this in and um, it will come up um, like at Lowe's and stuff like that. So, it says, read it to y'all before we take it out. So, it says 2 times 11 OVAC outlets, 1 um, USP. Well, it's telling me it's two of those type of outlets, the plug-in outlets. One USB-C port, um, three USB ports, and multiple 12V outputs. LCD screen displays charge um, level and output, okay? And it says it's good for camping, tailgate, work, and home, all right? So, um, it's the PPS200, okay? Um... So that's the way it looks on the box. All right. I'm a little closer. Y'all can see. So now I am just going to open it. I may need to stand. <laughs> if I got enough room right here to do it. All right. So. Kylie, turn the air off. Y'all, it was a little chilly because it's been raining all morning. So, I had turned the air, the heat on just a little bit, even though it's 77 degrees outside. But, yeah. Alright, so this, it comes with this box. We're going to see what's in that um, in a minute. And then it comes with, of course, instructions, a little manual. Alright. Um, let's take it out now I'm gonna use this one cuz I use my Jackery one um I keep it by my bed I just bought it in here cuz we don't talk about it um so I'm gonna keep oh it's lightweight too the box makes it seem like it's heavy okay but it's lightweight so that's one thing I like about it Ooh, okay all right so this one I'm gonna keep in here at my desk to charge like um my phones, um, any little thing that I have. Now 
from reading the box, um, you can get solar panels for this. That's probably my next thing. Um, but this is how it looks. Okay. And it is light. It's light. I like that. The only thing that I really can say I may not care for too much is that it takes out eight hours to charge indoors. So if you plug it in the wall to charge at least eight hours to get a full charge. But hey, it is what it is. Alright, so let's see. This is what it looks like. Alright, so let's see what's in here. Summer does this every time, y'all. Every time. Summer. Can you go sit? You know I'm record, honey. These are different. Oh, this is my um wall charger and stuff. So this is my wall charger. Now we only boot my computer up and I will look um I will look for y'all. Quick. We'll look and tell y'all exactly what the hate when this do this. I will look and tell y'all the price for it. Okay. My thing is upside down. Y'all, if it ain't one thing, it's another. I have to reset it. There we go. There we go. The whole screen, y'all, was upside down. It's crazy. All right. Then that way I can give y'all the price. Of what I see on this. All right. So this is the wall charger. Let's see. Well, I guess it will go. Okay, DC input. So that. Let me see if it's gonna cut on first. Without being charged. See if, see if it's got a charge. It's funny trying to do this and let y'all see at the same time. Okay, so yeah, it says it's got two bars. Y'all can see. Hope y'all can see that. So the battery got two bars. Um, so I know the DC output where I would charge it would go right here. And then put it in the wall. We don't need to do that right now. And then, I guess this is for... <laughs> don't give me the line. We'll look at the instructions. Um, to see what this is for. Then it comes with um, USB cables. Now, one thing that I noticed that I do like on this one because of the multiple it has three usb outputs okay then it has a uh, 3a one and it has three of the two um the two aa out b i like that um let me see it comes with yep whereas the jackery comes with one of the output like for the wall like you could plug stuff in it it has two of those outputs so i like that now they are the same wattage um, but it's just more, oh, okay, this is like the, I guess the connectors. So, like the split, I guess you can call it the splitter or whatever. So it comes with, you got the three ends. Get closer. You got the, the wire ends. And, see, I like this. It's going to be perfect for this area. I'm going to keep it right on my desk because I can charge, let's see. Both phones at the same time. Did it go off? Oh, it shuts off if you ain't using it. Okay. Did I put that on? Okay, it said USB. Let's see if it's going to charge my phones. So. Let's see. 
All right, so let me try. Even if I see if I have the. Oh, I like that. So it comes with different ends, okay? Different ends. They all are different. Um. So I have my phone hooked to this one. Yay! So it is. Wait. Get in there. Okay, so it is charging my phone. All right. But I think this phone has a different end. I think these two have the same end. So I'm not going to be able to find. Oh, hair, get out the way. I'm not going to be able to find another end on this splitter because they are different. Let me see if this one. Yeah, they are different end pieces. So. Well, you may have, like, I think my Bluetooth carries a different end piece. So, I'll be able to use it like that. So, I like that. It comes with a splitter. But, I can take, oh, Lord. Mm -mm. Oh, no. All right. So, I can take this one. put it in here and charge this phone yes yes so I like that so I got more options more outputs I put it like that more outputs to put um, with this one all right so I really really like that um, rather than you know so I gotta figure out let me see let's look at the manual so I can see what this goes to. Um, tells me. Okay, so I thought that's what it was, but it kind of looked funny. It looked it funny. I thought it was a car. It's for the car, of course. But see that end, y'all? Y'all, why would this thought the same thing? It looks funny on the end right here. But, oh, okay, yeah. It's for the car. You put it in your, like, your cigarette lighter thingy, Majigga. And um, plug in the car adapter to connect it to the 12 volt um, car outlet in your vehicle. Okay, so let's see. So it's saying, okay, yeah, so if you're going to charge it using your car, which is a plus, if you're going to charge it using your car, because um, this one will go in the car with me sometimes too. Um, I do have a car charger in there, but I will use this to keep it all day. I have it charged at home, and then I will put it in my car to charge both of my phones, maybe my Bluetooth, especially when I'm doing like DoorDash and Uber Eats and stuff. Um, when I'm out there doing that, then I will put bring this in my car, and it just makes it easier. So if you're using it, if you are um, going to charge this thing using your car, it'll go up here. And then you'll plug this in your car. So, I like that. I like that, okay? So, like I said, this, I'm going to look up this one real quick so I can tell y'all exactly. Now, every area may be different. Keep that in mind. Every area may be different. So, your prices may be completely different. But, let's go ahead and do... Poser 200 watt portable power station. Also, it's saying on here that um, Home Depot got it for $193.98. QVC has it for $199.96. Sam's Club has it for $179.98. Lowe's has it for $209. Um, and you got like other stores and stuff like that. Alright, so yeah. So you can definitely get this, um, and if you go to something like QVC, you know you can pay, you can make payment plans and stuff like that on it. So now let me tell y'all what I see as of right now with the eyes of the Jackery 200, and y'all know the Jackery 200 was gifted to me by one of my subscribers, one of my honey buns, AKA DLR. I hope I said that right off the top of my head, honey. But like I say, still thank you so so much. So hold up now. All right, so I'm going to just unplug everything right now so I can talk to y'all about these two. All 
right? Of what I see so far. Okay, I still got to use this one and go deep into this one and all this because like I said, I just unboxed it. Um, so, the poser, I love it. Like I say, it has more of the um, USB ports. Um, I like the fact that it came with its with a car charger. Um, I like that it has two more of the AC, the wall um, AC adapters. And it's really light. It's light. Let me see. Who's lighter? Ah, let's see. I feel like this one is a little lighter. Now, they both 200 watt um, power stations. Jackery, of course, we know Jackery is a good, good brand. So I would say go with Jackery if you can when you want the brand. I cannot speak too much about this one because I haven't used it yet. The eight hour to charge, it does not take this one eight hours to charge fully in the wall. But I can still deal with that because it'll be, you know, home. Something is better than nothing. Um, the Jackery has two USB. Now this is the Jackery 200 and this is the Pulse 200, okay? So the Jackery, um, well, this is the Jackery Explorer 240, but it's a 200 watt. Let me say that. So, um, you know, you can charge it here. Um, it has where you can, you know, use your little thing like, um, what they call it, like for the car or whatever. Um, it has one wall AC adapter, one where this one has two. And then it has two USB, um, areas whereas this one has three of the two AA and one three A USB and then it also has wait a minute oh I know it yes it does it has the 12 volt output so yeah yeah so it has one of these let's see what is this one um it's 12 volt two so yeah, so it has that one. So this one has a little bit more, okay? Now, this Jackery right here was 200. Um, you may be able to find it sometime when it goes on sale for like 169 or something like that. But like I said, they 200, they both 200 watts. Um, I guess this one is a little slimmer than this one. Let's see. Mm, yeah, just a little slimmer, but it is a little heavier this one but I'm gonna give y'all another review later once I actually use it and get it together like I said I'm gonna keep this one in here on my desk and leave this one in my bedroom now because I have been using this one using this one using this one using this one it have went with me in my car um because I can charge more store like I said if I can use this in my car and not use my actual charger in the car then I do that because that just you know reserve some power okay um but taking this and being able to do way more things whereas my car charger has two I, I don't have a splitter for it which I need to get a splitter for it but still it's down in my glove compartment I gotta do this I gotta run this because where it's located at and it's just like not my glove compartment it's actually in my console and I'm like really so just putting this in and then just charging um, my phones or whatever I need to charge while I am doing deliveries is perfect. So now that I've been using this one, I'm going to let this one rest a little bit and just make sure I charge my phones and stuff with this just so I can get a feel of how it is or whatever. So I hope this was helpful uh, for anybody that's looking for one. I'm not sure how much the Jackery 240 Explorer is, which is 200 watts. I don't know how much it is right now, but you have to Google that and then compare the two. Um... But other than that, I am excited to use it. I'm about to go ahead and put this one back in the back and get leave this one in here and charge, let it charge and see, you know, how it do. Okay. Um, let's see. They both have a display. Um, you see the display light there. This one has it. I just have to press the button for it to display. I hope y'all can see that from there. Um, but yeah. So that's what I feel about the poser 
versus the Jackery. Okay, so with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to so be notified each and every time that your girl upload a video. And I want y'all to be safe and continue to prepare as much as possible. Okay, it's better to be prepared than not to be prepared. Prepared. All right. So yeah, y'all be safe, and I'll see you in the next one of this gospel. Okay. Bye.